Hey there, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Join me on a Sunday morning. I'm in the lounge, I'm on my own. What a hectic week it's been. It has been absolutely mad. Kids have been here this weekend. Uh, Taylor, had, Taylor had a football game yesterday. We had our live massive action day for PTIQ, uh, an online event. So throughout the year we've put on uh, in-person events and, and online events for the guys who can't make the in-person ones, well for everybody, but, and we had that yesterday which was amazing. We had some fantastic workshops from the coaches. We had a guest speaker in Ashley Vaughan, who's a, who's a coach. She spoke about masculine and feminine energy um, and how it impacts various parts of our lives and how we can use it and it was, it was really really interesting bathrooms are nearly finished the bathrooms have been going on forever i'll be honest with you this week has been super stressful like a really i would say that friday was one of the worst days that i can remember where you know where everything just comes at you from every direction and it feels completely overwhelming however i feel like i dealt with it really really well at the minute i've got there's lots of open loops so when I talk about open loops, you know like when you ask someone if you want to do something, they don't get back to you, they're like, are they gonna do that? Are they gonna come? Are they go That's an open loop. So you can have small open loops, like do you wanna go for a coffee? Or you can have big open loops, like the bathroom not being finished, waiting for an event to come, things like that. And I feel like I've had a lot of open loops, small ones and big ones, and it, it just stresses me out. And Joel's been, Joel's been telling me, you know, to to take a rest and to chill out a bit and but it's been really difficult to do that um so i am gonna do that after today we're playing it today we're playing our first home game of the season we actually played london away last year i mean here's a bit of footage of that first game back feeling a bit nervous um yeah r r nervous about it um feeling I keep getting in my head about it but i'm good enough and i'm looking forward to it so we'll see how it goes We've stopped about halfway. We've stopped to get some um, for everyone to go to the loo and just have a bit of a break because it's a long old drive. We've just got to keep moving. So yeah, it's um, it's, a, it's a waiting game. Patience. Here's Brains Trust Look coaching staff there. Stood by cash machine. <laughs> How are you feeling after your break, Flynn? Are you feeling refreshed? Yeah, Ready to go. Yeah, Woods is ready, aren't you, mate? Yeah, no, always ready. <laughs> what about you, Bucky? Are you ready? <laughs> nice, Jimmy. Yeah, in insightful. He's brought this specifically to go on YouTube. He's never eaten fruit in his life. <laughs> well, after a five and a half hour coach journey, we finally made it. Feels like we're down in Como. It was that long, wasn't it? Long trip, that one, it, lads. Well, the weather's the weather's good. Um, we've got to get ready for for the game now um so go in the changing room get ready and i'll report afterwards joel and lucy and adam are coming to watch so see them afterwards we got the win i stayed over in london uh, with joel afterwards we just stayed and had a bit of time to ourselves um, which was nice which was needed like i said i've not had much of that and then came back and was straight into straight back into everything with the kids being here this weekend football moving things around drama class event rugby today fletcher's got football this morning so taking fletcher to football then i've got to drop the dogs off because they're staying because me and joe it's my birthday tomorrow and joel has organized a, a hotel i don't know where we're staying we're staying in a hotel somewhere so we have to sort the dogs out so it's dropping those off then i've got to go to rugby then we've got to take the kids home so there's it's just been <laughs> relentless i've taken monday and tuesday off work that I can enjoy my birthday, have a bit of downtime. It's also Valentine's Day on Tuesday, so my birthday is the 13th of February, so it's the day before Valentine's Day, which always takes the sheen off my birthday, but I feel like it won't do this year. Uh, uh, Joel seems to have gone above and beyond, so we will see. Really looking forward to, to having a bit of downtime, recharging the batteries, um, it's needed, and I've not really been looking after myself as well as I should do. It's so easy to deprioritize yourself, and you put yourself down the list because this needs doing for work, and this needs doing for the kids, and this needs doing for partner, and this needs doing for so and so, and this needs doing for them, and you put yourself down the priority list, and you end up burning yourself out. You end up not liking where you're at, resenting the people that you're doing things for because you're not doing things for yourself. And I am normally really good at prior, I always say, 
w do something for yourself first thing in the morning. And I've not been doing that. I've not been taking my own advice, which can be really annoying as a coach. So that's my plan is to take back some control this, this week and, and stop prioritizing other people. Um, so much so I've actually got a, a start with a mindset coach this, this week. I'm a big believer in investing in, in myself. Um, I've done, whenever I've done it, I've always had, I've never had a bad experience. Even when I've had coaches that, you know, m maybe not got as much out of it as I could do. I've always taken something from it. It's always been worth it. Um, it's always helped me grow. And I've got a mindset coach, a guy called Kieran. I'm going to be working with him starting on Friday, which I'm really looking forward to. And he sent over a book, which he thought would be, would be really helpful for me. It's called The Infinite Game. It's by a guy called Simon Sinek. Um, he's got like the most viewed, TED Talk. It's Sunday evening after the game. That's Joe. He fell over. He's just fallen over his drum. We've had a few drinks. We lost. Like, Joe, you watched the game. Tell us about it. I say I watched it. I watched about 10 minutes of it um, because I was the only boy in a box full of women who. The wives and girlfriends. Yeah. And I was the only partner. But no, it was good. I mean, you were winning for a time. I thought you guys were going to win and then you lost. We lost. The last goal that the other team scored, you guys could have done better. You left it wide open. No one was defending. No one tackled them. They just ran straight to the finish line and scored a goal. Almost. That was almost good. Finish line's not a thing. But yes, okay. we had, we've had we had a nice evening. Yeah. We've come home. We've been in the hot tub. Once upon a time, I would have got very knacky about losing. I played awful. One of the worst games okay. ever. But we all make mistakes. I'm a human being. So we're going to enjoy this. It's a soir. That's French, guys. Uh, couché. No. Avec moi. No. No. Ce no, soir. No. No. No merci. No merci. That's me. Au revoir. Ça va. Uh, muy bien. Et tu? I think that was a bit of Spanish, but. So yeah, we're going to have a few drinks. I've got a few days off work. Joel's got some surprises for me. I will take my camera with me because I usually forget it, don't I, Joel? So yeah. I will take my camera with me. I will bring you along for my 35th birthday, halfway to 70, almost at 40. Thanks, guys. <gasps> oh, Joel's drunk. Keegan Bye. told me today to film some of the rugby match so that he could put it in his blog. And instead, I delegated it to the kids and went, your dad wants some footage. And I went, one of you get on Instagram and do it vertically. The other one, take care of YouTube and do it horizontally. And it was so good because I didn't have to do anything. I think that's called child labour and I think it's it illegal, but also delegation is key. Exactly, and they enjoyed it. Yeah, they did have a nice They're time. very proud of their dad, mm. and so they should they be. Were, they were cute, yeah. It was very yeah. nice to see the fam afterwards, so... Yeah, um, I'll probably be on over tomorrow when I vlog, but it's my birthday, so I, it's my party and I'll yeah. cry if I want to. And you're 25 tomorrow, it's a big age. 25 stone. Well, it's the morning after Joel being drunk. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. I have had a bit of happy birthday flapjack. This was full of flapjack that Joel's mum and dad sent. Um, but we've um, we've made a good way of the, through that, haven't we? Mm -hmm. We have. It's, um, it's been worth it. It has. This is the best flapjack company ever. Yeah, very good. No affiliate link. So Joel has got me some presents. We're just going to have a cup of coffee. Yeah. And then I'm going to do some presents. So I was just saying to Joe, 34 was the year, the entire, the entirety of 34, I've had my Invisaligns in and get them off, hopefully on Friday. So 35 will be the year of straight teeth, but not straight Keegan. I've opened everything. I, I had a, I've had a very good haul there. I've got some lovely cards. Um, Joel's mum and dad, Joel got me a lovely card, happy birthday from the best decision that I ever made apparently. Um, this is from an ex-client called Stephen. That's from a client, Jamie. Um, who's that? That's Christine. Joel, Joel got me some hoodies, which I asked for. He stuck to the brief. The piece de resistance. These. So, these are barefoot. They help with um, foot pain, ankle pain, how you walk. Because we are supposed to walk bare feet and obviously, we, we wear trainers all the time and it squashes your toes in and um, it can impact the arch of your foot which can impact the gait, how you walk which can have a knock on effect on your knees and your hips and stuff so I have got these which I am 
actually really happy how comfy they are. Um, so the idea was to just train in them, but I might just wear them, like generally. It was re how difficult was it for me to get them on, Joel? It's taken him about 15 minutes to get them on, <laughs> to separate his toes. Because two of my toes are literally like on top of each other like that, because they've been squished over the years. It was amazing, thank you for my birthday gifts, Joel. Look, it okay. looks like Christmas Day morning. Yeah, I ran out of birthday paper, so I just used Christmas paper. Saving the planet, guys. Saving the planet. Saving the planet, shop local, save the planet. Speaking of shopping local, what have you ordered? I've ordered us a tea cake, breakfast cake. A flat cake. Flat cake. Which is a very large bread cake, full of breakfast. So this, yes, I've got a blanket on like an old nana. This is a flat cake, so you can see it's two halves of a huge flat cake. Did you ever have a flat cake down south, Joel? Never, never even heard of it. They don't really, you don't really have bread down there, do you? Um, we only have sourdough garlic. What's in it, Joel? Spam, for a starter. Bacon, mm, beans, all egg, the good stuff. Sausage. So full breakfast in a sandwich, basically. Yeah. It's the picture of health. It's actually really nice. Really good. We're on our way to Manchester now. Yeah. It's still, my, it's still my birthday. We're on our way to Manchester. Joel's booked a very fancy hotel. I'm driving still. I mean, <laughs> even though it's my birthday. You, uh, you <laughs> said I was going to drive, and it was like, I want to drive because I want to listen to my audiobook, which is on his car. Which I'm going to listen to while, but I like to, I like to listen to it while I'm driving. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I told him which hotel we were going to, because I was like, would you like to know? Or would you like to just turn up? And he was like, no, I'd like to know. I'd like to know now, on the day of the birthday. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, very nice hotel. This is a, a hoodie that Joel got me as well. Yeah, got you a, a hoodie what or two. Color, what colour would we say this is? I'd say it's a very pale blue, but in some lights it looks grey. Yeah, it is, it is grey. definitely blue. Is it a yeah. baby blue? It may no. be. Well, we made it to the hotel room. Yeah. Joel loves a robe. I love bathrooms so much, but I am naked under here, so I'm... Oh, see modesty. This is the room, and this is the bathroom. Shower room. Um, it's very, very, very nice. We've also got a very nice glass of champagne, which Joel's ego, dear, darling. Thank you. Dearling. Dearling. Um, Joel's mum and dad actually got us that for moving in. It's mum, which is very nice champagne. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. Oh, I don't like it when it's too dry, and that is not dry. Mm. So we've tried Colette today, and now mum. Yeah, mum's the word. So what's on the agenda for tonight, Joel? So the plan is, guys. Tell me. We've got a table booked for 8.15 at a place called Tattoo. It's a bougie Chinese restaurant. Um, prawn crackers all round. Prawn crackers all round, and yeah, that's basically all that Keegan knows. Keegan doesn't know. He doesn't know if we're having a quiet night in. He doesn't know if we're going on a mad night out. He doesn't know if sure we're going to do mad night out. salsa dancing. I hope not. Are we going to do a bread making course after dinner? Are we going to do like not you don't those, know? Not in those shoes that I brought. Well. TBC. Oh, God. Oh, my gown is fine. What a tool. It's now Valentine's Day. We had a good night last night, didn't we? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, it was really nice. Joel surprised me. Uh, two of my friends came for dinner with us. It was very sweet. They were all in on it together. It was so stressful. <laughs> Joel, Joel hates planning. Can't keep anything to himself. Yeah. Can't make decisions. Can't make decisions. So it was like a, a triple threat of things he hates. <laughs> However, Good things come to good people. Joel's had the best Valentine's Day present ever because S Club 7 are getting back together. Last night they announced that they're getting back together. Mum was texting me, but it was midway through trying to plan with Keegan's friends arriving and I, so I couldn't fully make the most of it. And so now I'm celebrating that because here's to S Club 7. Um, I've just got home and there was this massive parcel. So I've, I've, there was this massive parcel and there's loads of stuff come. Obviously, birthday yesterday, so people have been sending me stuff like this amazing card that my friend sent me. <laughs> um, and this one is from a, a viewer, a YouTube viewer, not actually one of my originals, well, she is now, but she was Joel's 
and she sent me this box which was supposed to come in th Thanksgiving, yada yada yada, customs, customs, customs. And it's really sweet. She sent stuff for thank you. Catherine who sent this stuff from California. So I mean it's this is a very new experience for me. There's something for Ava and Ben here, I don't know what this is. What is this? We've already opened a few little clothes for the yeah, dogs. Some clothes, Are these some treats? Dog treats. You two, dog treats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, blankets for the dog. I mean, does love a blanket. Throw something for me in Come there. Come on, have a look. Oh, it's boxes. One can never have too many boxes. Beyond it's your favourite Bjorn, Bjorn Borg ones. Good, 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 good I mean, this is. I am genuinely taking a. Like this is very, very generous. It's very yeah, sweet. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah um, it's very oh kind. God, yeah. Thank you. Hi, morning. Uh, it is what Thursday, the sixteenth of February. Valentine's Day has been and gone. We we didn't do much. We ordered food in from a company called Cook, which was really, really good quality food that you didn't have to mess about with. Like, and it was it so it was like a takeaway, but a lot healthier, a lot better food. Um, and we really enjoyed it. So we've had a really good few days. Uh, my birthday was great. We had a lovely night out with Joel. A couple of my friends came, he invited them. This was a surprise, which was really nice to see. Uh, Valentine's, we didn't really get each other anything. We got the meal. Um, but what I have done for Joel, Joel's been away. He's been filming with Leah in London. Um, and so he was in London last night. So the build is finished here now. Uh, which means all the, um, the garage has been cleared out because it's been an absolute mess. So Joel had got a treadmill. So what I've done is I have set it up for him so it's ready to go when he comes back. That's my watt bike over there. As a bit of a surprise because I know he's been really looking forward to getting on that. It did take a bit of building, me and Taylor did it last night. But yeah, so that is my Valentine's gift, which when it comes to love languages, acts of service, I suppose that's a me thing rather than a Joel thing, but hopefully he'll enjoy it um, and he'll be able to use it. So it's been an amazing, amazing birthday, 35 years old, Valentine's Day was really cute. I mean, I had training as well, so we've managed to do that and then Joel's been away. I played on Friday evening this week and then I've got the weekend to myself, the kids aren't here this weekend, so we've got a nice weekend to ourselves, which I'm really looking forward to. So I'll be able to use the sweat station over the weekend as a bit of a recovery. Um, but yeah, I mean, this old garage needs tidying out really, but there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this little oeuvre into birthdays and things. I hope uh, you found it entertaining. If you have, please give it a like, give us a follow, subscribe, share it, do all the YouTube things, you know what you're doing. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.